The term background is defined as the area or scenery behind the main object of contemplation. This definition holds true even in live streaming. How? What's in the background, while it isn't the main focal point, should be of concern and intentionally designed. Hey. You can design a physical background, like me, or you can set up a virtual background if that's your thing. Kirk Nugent here for EV Mux, your live streaming sweet spot. And today, we're looking at virtual backgrounds in EV Mux. So here we are in one of our EV Mux studios, and I'm literally just going to take a look at what are some of the functions and features for virtual backgrounds. So if we come right here to the bottom where we see this wheel, where it says settings, we wanna to go to our settings. It looks like a gear, right? I always like to call it a wheel, more like a gear, but anyway, <laughs> we'll click on that and you'll notice our normal usual options here. We can select our different cameras. We can even select resolution here in terms of 780, 720, 480, or even 1080p. But we now have something that says beta here. It says virtual background, virtual background. And now we're gonna select that one and it opens up a number of options. I wanna just say right here that using virtual background does require more resources on your computer. Virtual backgrounds, I wanna repeat, requires more resources on your computer. So keep that in mind, even as you use it, that it will require just a little more horsepower, a little more RAM, a little more processing. Um, here we have several options and we can select whether or not we have a green screen and you can see that I don't have one. So I'm gonna keep this unselected, but I am gonna do a test with a green screen toward the end of the video, so stay tuned. So here you can, I have a green screen, I'm gonna leave that unchecked. I can blur my background. We have that option to blur the background here. And so you can blur the background a little bit. Let's do that. See what that looks like. Just a little bit of blur on there. And then I can blur it a lot of it, right? <laughs> a little bit and a lot of it. And you can see what those look like. Um, and then we can go back and turn off that blur Totally up to you. Again, one of those privacy type things. Love that we have this feature here. Maybe you, you know, have some people running around in the background behind you. You can use the blur feature for that. Of course, we have the virtual backgrounds. Now, you can hit the plus sign right here. You can hit that and it's going to allow you to open up other virtual backgrounds or I should say other backgrounds that you want to upload into the system. Maybe you have a picture of a scene that you really love, whatever you've used from Zoom, whatever it might be, you can upload that into this spot. And again, like I said, I don't have a, an actual green screen behind me right now, so I'm not checking this box, but we're going to get to that in a second. What does it look like? What does this look like without a green screen? Now, this has many factors that play into it. Lighting is one of the most critical ones, and I'll, I'll share a little bit more on that later. But I don't have, not only do I not have a green screen behind me now, I also have some RGB lights behind me. I have some, I have this, 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 this incandescent light here as well. So there's some things in the background that will make it difficult for the system to give me a good key. And a key is what we call bringing you off of the background and just presenting you as the focal point to the audience. So I'm gonna try a couple of these just so you can see what it looks like even without a green screen. Do the first one. And so, I mean, that's not horrible. It, it's done a fairly decent job, but you can see that that light is causing a problem there. It's just so bright uh, in the picture. Um, here's another one, and we're gonna run through these again in the other uh, setup. But you can see, I mean, like, that's a really vivid picture. And if I had a green screen, that would be a really cool key to have behind me. And so, so you know, we're, we're excited that EV Mux has given us some of these options, functions and features, um, and especially built in some virtual backgrounds for you to use in your live show. Now, before we close this out, I do, however, want to take a look at what this looks like with an actual green screen. Let's look at that right now. All right, we're back and I'm in a different portion of my studio right now where I've been able to set up a, a, a green screen and have this uh, for the purposes of testing out virtual backgrounds in EV Mux. So we've gotten a chance to see what it looks like 
without a green screen. And so now we want to take a look at what it looks like with a green screen. And we may end up uh, checking out all of them this time. So we go back to the settings. Let me make sure we go through that for you. We go back to the settings part here and we go to virtual backgrounds is the option. And this time I can actually check the box that says I have a green screen. So I have a green screen. I'm checking that box and that gives me the option to now start playing with the intensity um, and you'll see what that looks like in a second. You do want to make sure you select whether you your backdrop is green or blue. Blue uh, blue backgrounds are a thing and they key out just as well. So if you have that, definitely want to make sure you do that. I mentioned before we can definitely upload our own backgrounds, but for, for, for the purposes of our test today, I'm just going to use the ones that are built into the system. And so everything is essentially set. You can see here it's giving that warning. I'm glad EVMux did this for best performance. We recommend using a green screen. It also shares uh, somewhere you may get a warning that says it does require more resources from your system. I mentioned that as well. So now let's put up uh, a virtual background. Let's go with the woods. And here I am. I'm in the woods, y'all. <laughs> and you can see my fingers. Um, everything looks, you know, like as it should look um, in terms of that whole background is gone and I can be on screen like this and it looks natural. It doesn't look fake. Well, kind of, sort of, you can tell. Um, and again, that intensity part allows me to play with the edges. You always just want to look at the edges of your, your face um, as that and even your shoulder as, as you key out off of the background. The edges are, are where you can kind of play with this intensity a little bit. To, to dial in what that looks like and determine if that is, you know, acceptable for you. Um, we also have the office. Oh, this is a nice office with that view of the city. I wish that was my real background. I wish I had a real office like that. But but again, this is the one of the benefits of a virtual background is that you do have the option of showcasing places and spaces that you don't necessarily live or work in and so that's why a lot of people are very enamored with virtual backgrounds so that's another one that's there and again one of the things that i want to point out is i'm very close to my background so i'm going to actually uh, turn this off for just a second i'm actually very close like very close to my background under normal circumstances if i was setting this up for a client i would set the background up a little bit further back and make sure that there's light specific to the green screen or background, I should say, um, and then light that's specific to the subject as well. So the reason for that, the reason why you're seeing some of that green on me is because the light is bouncing off of the green screen and then onto me. And so that's what's, um, you know, kind of having an effect and impact on the key. So even here, you can kind of see that even more with that brick background. You can see that green is bouncing off of the background and onto me. Even if I were to come forward just a little bit, you can see that that kind of subs, you know, comes goes away some. But um, I do need to be back here in order to look normal on camera. So I wanted to make sure you can kind of see what that effect looks like. Here's the beach. And let's just do one more. Uh, this this, you know, setting in a room and that's pretty cool. And, and I'll, all I would need to do is close that like that. And now I'm on screen in EV Mux in my broadcast studio, ready to go live with my virtual background from EV Mux lighting virtual backgrounds that are so good they fool the audience all comes back to great lighting lighting for the subject which is you lighting for your green screen lighting will make a world of difference for virtual backgrounds and we're excited for this ev mux feature that they've just brought out let us know in the comments how you plan to use it be sure to subscribe so you're notified when we have new content and upcoming live shows learn more ev mux functions and features from these videos